Roger Foster here again at the kitchen table and today we're going to take a look at take a look at a simple solution to a problem. Today we have the seven port USB hub. This one's brand new. You know, I buy a few of these from China for about 5 bucks a piece with the power supply. They're one of the better ones that I've found out of, out of all the hubs. The problem is they usually underpower it. They send you a power supply that's usually a lot less than what's needed. This one here, I don't know if I can get it to focus on this. Is it going to focus? This is a one amp power supply, and this is a lot better than the other ones I got that gave me a, a whoa, I'm not speaking very good today, a 500 milliamp power supply I received with the other ones I got. These ones here, when you plug them in, they got a cool blue light that comes on, so. The problem that we have with these is there's no internal diode that stops the back feed from the power supply to your laptop or computer and it wreaks havoc on your equipment shutting down weird things happening with your power supply any number of problems that are caused by not having it isolated between this power supply here which you need and the power coming from your laptops USB ports so there's a simple solution before we get to that, we're going to plug this in and take a look at it and see how it does. See, we're just going to plug it in. And there we go. We've got nice blue light there. Hey, eh? this one's nice. The other one I had was red. And it also didn't have this sort of soft silicone rubberized stuff on it. So I like these ones better. I haven't had nearly as many problems with these. I've got these uh, from uh, an eBay website in China called Buying Coins. Well, I didn't really buy any coins, but I bought from them a few times and I've never had any problems. Their price is cheap for the cheap junk that they sell. And overall, I don't have too many problems. Like I said, the problem with this is the back feed from the power going through into your laptop. So. The way we're going to solve that is we're going to cut into the power cord up here near the end where it plugs in and we're going to sever the 5 volts because you can't have it feeding back to the computer and you're going to have a lot of problems. So we're going to skin this back, find the 5 volts. Now normally the 5 volts is the red wire but you never know with these people. We're going to see what we get into here. Okay, so what I've done here is I've stripped that back with these here wire cutters, making sure that I don't cut the inside wires. And I used an X-Acto knife to take the little piece out of the middle. So now what I have is the wires exposed. Now, to show you an example of what happens, what we're going to do is we're going to plug this in before we make any cuts because the easiest way if you don't have a voltmeter is to assume the red is the 5 volts if you see a red but to plug it into a power supply that has a, a 5 volt charging port so if you plug into a 5 volt charging port like this laptop power supply has and then you plug into Hold on here. <laughs> oh, this is fun trying to do this with one hand. Okay, so then we're going to plug in here and we get our blue light. That's what we're looking for. See? So we're plugged in over here and we get our blue light. So that's telling us we're getting 5 volts coming into the hub. So what we want to do now is we want to unplug this just in case you. Uh, short something normally but I'm not going to worry too much about that because I'm only work I'm only going to be working with one wire 
and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sever the red wire and we're going to see when I sever the red wire if the uh, the blue LED goes off if the blue LED goes off when I sever the red wire no the blue wire the green wire there we severed it and if you wanna just to make sure you could always uh, test it with a voltmeter but I don't think we have any problems there so now what we're gonna do is just fold those over in the opposite direction you know or pull one over in the opposite direction and tape it back up and then what will happen is now you will always have to use the power supply and you won't have any voltage coming back into the laptop and it should work without any problems you may need to get a a larger power supply because the ones they give you sometimes they're 500 milliamps this one's an amp I really think they should be two or three amps by all rights you're supposed to have 500 milliamps per socket but a lot of the devices that we use don't draw power like external hard drives that have power of their own CD burners and other devices like that that have their own power supply don't draw from them so we really don't need that but I would honestly like to be seeing a 3 amp power supply on these things so one of the next things I'm going to do is get a couple sockets and make a 2 into 1 so that I can come out and plug two power supplies in and come out and plug into there with the male end and what that'll do is give me two amps anyways and that should be more than enough for any of the stuff that I'm using so now we've got it all taped up you just have to remember that this is a custom cable if you go try to plug it into a printer or some other device it won't function because no power will be getting to the device so we plug it in now and nothing should happen which is what we want to see we're plugged into the power supply and nothing happens so now we plug in the external power supply and get our power from here by plugging in there okay so now we got our blue light back on and we have the power to our USB hub so what should happen now is I go and I hook this up to my laptop and when I plug this data cable in at this end into the laptop I should get connection and it should recognize the USB hub but you always have to make sure you have the external power supply plugged in or it won't recognize it let's go and check it out here we are we're plugged back in here we have the power supply plugged into the USB hub which is hiding over here now and you can see on the back wall we're getting our blue light and this is our cable here and we're going to plug it in over here and see what happens yep we got connection okay so now what I've done is I've just unplugged my mouse and we're going to plug it in to the USB hub Okay, works perfect. There's no problems with this. It works perfect. There's no back feed. So I won't be having any problems with my power supply here showing me that I have a yellow light when I get up in the morning when these things are left plugged into the wall. And that's a simple solution uh, to the problem. The problem I was having was when certain devices would plug in other devices would get kicked off and 
I was getting not enough power. They were it was it was fighting each other for no apparent reason and it was just causing me a lot of problems and as soon as I went to this solution for those USB hubs the problem stopped so basically what I got is my power supplies plugged in down there I have another USB plug B hub plugged in here that's running three external USB hard drives and a DVD burner